This is a great like comment and I wanted to flesh it out a little bit in terms of working night shift as a new nurse and learning this nuance because in nursing school it'll say you know yeah if you refuse it you need to notify a physician notify a physician notify a physician right but they don't tell you when to notify right it makes it sound like drop everything right now and notify I remember talking to some intensivists and they were like they got another call from a nurse they got like a bunch of calls in a row and he was like so annoyed <laughs> because after I re after he explained to me all the calls, I could tell it was a nurse who in nursing school notify. All right. I stopped to notify. Okay. This, maybe they refused a med or maybe I'm not sure about this or whatever, but there wasn't that pause of when should I notify? Are these non-urgent issues that could wait until he rounds in an hour? Can I wait? I'm having a bunch of needs come up that are not going to change the immediate plan of care. Could I consolidate them into one call? Um, so I think that is a learning curve for newer nurses that you do not have to drop everything and call the moment you notice that you need to call and consider how you can cluster those. And, you know, if it's an emergency, urgent situation, if it's going to change the plan of care in the next hour or two or whatever it is, yeah, go ahead and call and get clarification. But if, especially if you're on day shift and they have not rounded yet, and you know they're, they typically round 11, 12, 11, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., hang out on those needs and ask them all at once it shows a lot of respect for their time and I want you to think about if your CNA dropped everything and called you every single time every single time they notice instead of waiting for you to come up to the nurse's station because they know you're in with a patient it's a very similar thing and on night shift you really need to consider is this something that I really need to wake somebody up for or you know interrupt somebody in an emergency or whatever it might be because there's a lot of things that truly can wait until the next day and you can document that they refused and that you communicated it to the next nurse who's going to tell the visit or whatever whatever it might be or whatever note whatever policy is in place but i think that that pause is really important for non-urgent needs um, and this is an example of doing it follow for more nurse tips